Uh, hi! Alright, we've been, I've been procrastinating on doing this after visiting a shoe um, for a while now. We've moved in, we moved in over a month ago now at this point, right? Um, so we've lived here for about a month and I was going to do like an empty house tour, but I never got around to it and we just kind of moved so fast, it just didn't work out. Um, but I wanted to do a quick little house tour. Okay, actually before we get started, I kind of wanted to explain like what happened and why. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, we were, back in November, we found out we were pregnant. I kind of already did a video on that a little bit, um, my last video. Um, but we found out we were pregnant back in November and we immediately realized, wow, we're going to have to move. <laughs> and then we realized, holy shit, our due date is when our lease is up which poses a little bit of a problem because I'll be either with a newborn or I'll be like 40 weeks pregnant. Um, so <laughs> we quickly realized we were going to have to move and we started looking into, here in Kentucky at least, they have a maximum um, occupancy rule of, like it's like a state regulated rule, of two people per room. So a two bedroom apartment can literally only hold legally four people. So we knew we were gonna have to move. We started looking into three bedroom apartments and we realized they're really expensive. Um, so then we decided to weigh our option in buying a house. Um, and we found, we realized with our budget, um, approximately what our payments would be. And we were like, well, that makes way more sense. And then we can have our own property, like our own, like. It can be like ours. So we decided to go this route and um, go forward with buying a house. We found this place. This is actually a four bedroom house and we are paying about a hundred to easily $200 less than we would had we rented a three bedroom apartment for this four bedroom house. Um, granted the bedrooms are kind of small, but we are paying less. So that's why we decided to move and that's why it just happened like all so quickly. All right, okay, so starting in our doorway, this is technically the side of our house, um, but this is our driveway area. And I don't really wanna show the front front of our house just because I feel like that's weird. But, and this is the door we use mainly anyway because this is where we park. So we'll start here. So starting at this doorway, come on in. And the first thing you are greeted by is a wall. <laughs> uh, all right, so when you come in, we have this piece of carpet right here because it's, it's not actually like for right here, like I can move it. Um, but we have it here just because we haven't gotten a doormat yet. Eventually this will be gone though. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so the first thing you walk into is this wall right here. And then over to the left, we have our living room, a little sneak peek of our living room. I think we'll go over there in a second. And then over to the right, we have our kitchen and dining room area. Um, I guess I'll give like little tours of all of it. So this is our kitchen in its entirety. Our kitchen is definitely what sold me on buying this house. Uh, it was one of the first pictures on the listing and it caught my eye, of course. Um, and I really liked it. The people who bought this house bought it for relatively cheap. Not relatively. They bought it for really cheap. I looked at the last um, price that was paid for this house and it was really cheap. And um, they flipped it. I think this was, if I'm being honest, I think this is one of their very first flips. Or like they're very new to it. Because there's just some like odds and end things that are going on in this uh, house. That are just kind of off. That aren't like top-notch work, you know? Um, or maybe they're just cheap flippers who just saw this as a money grab. I'm not really sure. Either way, I'm not complaining. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this is our kitchen. We've got all stainless steel appliances. It came with the, the stove, the dishwasher, and the microwave. We went ahead and bought um, a fridge. It didn't have a fridge, and we decided to go ahead and match it, obviously, with stainless steel. Um, 
but yeah we've got all those all the appliances we've got real granite countertops um which i'm still kind of learning how you're supposed to take care of that uh it's a little bit of a mess right now because we were i have a bunch of painting stuff over here because i just actually redid the dining room painting you can see that nice little split right there <laughs> um but yeah so this is our kitchen we've got our fridge over here um i don't really know if you want to see what's in my fridge or not i still have it taken off the tape off of that that's funny um what do we have in here a whole lot of just nothing just regular food i suppose i don't know why i showed that we got our microwave down here i kind of a lot of people don't like the microwave being down at the bottom i don't mind it if i'm being honest um it's kind of nice that riley can do whatever she wants with it and then also, I don't know if you can see a little thing right there, but it's locked. So, if Asher comes over here and tries to microwave a spoon, he can't. <laughs> but Riley knows how to unlock it. So, I like it down there personally. A lot of people, I think, wouldn't. But I do. Got our little coffee maker over there. We've got a big pile of stuff that I need to return once stores start accepting returns again. We've got our KitchenAid. That's not normally supposed to be out. Jake was, like, doing... He was frying pickles or something. Um, we got our Alexa, a wax bell. I'm not sure if I like this right here or not. I don't really know. Um, our knives, which don't really make sense here, but they also don't make sense. I normally keep them by the stove, but there's like nowhere to, I don't know. Um, we got a nice big sink. This is like, I don't know if you can tell, but this is like big. I should have cleaned that out before I did this video, but I didn't. Um, I'll probably actually end up bathing baby in this. I've never really was one to bathe baby in the sink, but I think I might actually bathe him in this. And we've got a little smaller section. This is really nice. I like having this, like, pull down thingy. Ooh, I don't know. I just like having that for some reason. It's really helpful when doing dishes. Um, and then this is like a little built-in, like, soap dispenser, which is fun. Then we got our dishwasher. I guess I'll do like a quick tour of the kitchen, I guess. We'll start over here. We've got our utensils. This is cool, this is a hidden trash. And for some reason, they're like really small, but they have two of them, so it's not as bad. Um, so we've got our trash hid in there. We've got some utensils that I like to have right next to the oven in here. Also, soft clothes. Everything is soft clothes, which is so nice. Um, and then we got some appliances down there. We've got plates and bowls in here. And then the only thing I don't like about this is, I'll show you here in a second. We've got in here, we've got Tupperware and like cereal and chips in there. And then like right now with some of their Easter candy up there. Um, is that it doesn't have a pantry is the only thing. So we've had to use a like cabinet space as uh, food which i'll get to we've got glasses in here mugs kids cups and then down here we've got more kitchen appliances and doodads and things in here um, as well as our pots and pans which are kind of a mess don't judge me we actually have a junk drawer, which is so nice, and it's full already, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> um, more appliances. This is more like baking stuff, so like mixing bowls and junk. And then down here is even more baking stuff, like baking dishes and glassware. And then this is like baking, like uh, sprinkles and stuff, hand mixer. And then above, oh, did I skip over this one? I skipped over this one. We've got some odds and ends stuff down here, like cooking stuff. And then there's more appliances and junk back there that we just don't really know what to do with. Normally his deep fryer is up here. We've got a popcorn maker back there, an air fryer, popcorn maker thing. This has our um, spices and junk cookbooks up there. And then this is our like food area, which is really small compared to having like a full pantry. 
but that's okay. I've just limited on how much I, how many groceries and how much I can like stock up on. So eventually I would like to get a like standalone um, pantry that I will put on this wall. Anyway, so then going into over here, we've got, so there's our front door window, which is nice. It makes the kitchen a little bit brighter. Um, and then we've got our dining room area over here, which is like, it doesn't look big on camera, but it's pretty big for like a dining room area, in my opinion. We've got our little shoe rack right here. We've got a sliding screen glass door that goes out to our little patio into our backyard. Um, I don't want to go out there right now. It's like cold and I just don't want to put on shoes. Um, we've got a little corner over there with a bunch of cleaning doodad things. I said doodads twice now in this video. Eventually I want to put like a little standalone pantry right there. We've got our table, high chair. I think this is very strange to me that they put a like fan in the dining room. Is that a normal thing? I just thought that was kind of weird. Like who wants a fan on while they're eating? Um, but it, it actually comes in use. It comes in handy because since we don't have anything above the stove when we're cooking and it gets smoky in here, we can turn that on and like open these windows and such. So that kind of helps circulate the air. But yeah, I recently just painted this whole area right here from this from this part of the wall all the way over here, over here, over here, up to like right here. <laughs> Um, eventually I'm gonna get, well, relatively soon, I'm gonna get like a little piece of, um, what do they call it? Um, like trim to put going up here because I'm not a huge fan of this color and I don't want to continue it to the rest of the wall like I thought I was going to, so. But I also don't want to redo this, <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a piece of trim right here and then paint this a different color because this paint that they put in here is flat. And it's impossible to clean. The first day that we moved in, Asher had a little butter hand because he was eating noodles. And he put a little handprint right here. And we have tried everything to try to get this off. It will not come off because this flat paint just soaks up everything. It just, it soaks up. If there's a mark on the wall, it's not coming off with this flat paint. So that's why we wanted to redo this with a uh, like satin finish paint. I'm not really sure. I don't really like the color. It's a little bit more yellowy than I wanted, but anyway. Yeah, okay, so moving on. We've got our living room over here. That is technically our front door. We just don't use it as our front door. We didn't use our front door in our last apartment either. Um, so I need to get a new couch. Obviously, you can see this was our sectional. It's way too big for this living room. This living room's kind of small. It's not too small, but it's... It's smaller than our old living room, but our old living room is huge. Anyway, I want to get like an L-shaped couch that goes from like there to there. Because right now this couch, if you put it together, it would go from there to there to like right here. Um, so it's just way too big, so we had to separate it. But yeah, I want to get an L-shaped couch right there. And then this won't be there, obviously. And I want to get like an accent table or buffet table or... I'm not really sure what they call it. Like a long table for right there. And then probably put like a mirror above it, like a nice looking mirror. And get some wall decor for this wall. I'm not really sure. <laughs> this living room has this giant old fan. I don't think the camera is doing it Dutch justice, but this can't this fan is a beast. It's huge, absolutely huge. Um and then looking at it this way, so that's where we just came in the side door. Ooh, why is it blurry? Um, and then this, eventually we're gonna get a new, like, what do they call it? Entertainment TV stand thingy for that. Cause I wanna get this out of here because we actually have a toy room now, which is nice. I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, eventually I wanna get this out of here so that we don't have any toys in the living room. <laughs> no toys in the living room, except for maybe, I might get like a small little toy bin for right there for like the new baby with like baby baby toys. And then we've got our closet, which is just like a hall closet, general hall closet junk in it. This house actually didn't come with any shelving um, or very minimal shelving. So I had to do a lot of this. 
I had to like go and measure it and figure it out and get all the pieces and install it by myself. So I'm very, 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 very proud of the shelving. Um, <laughs> but yeah. All right, and then you go down this hall. So here we go. There's the living room and then into the hallway. Um, sorry if I'm out of breath. I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, this is our first bathroom. Let me turn on the light. I don't want to get in the light like, shot because it's weird to me. Um, I also didn't clean up really. So sorry if everything's a mess. Look at this funky flooring. I guess this is like in right now. I'm not really sure. I've seen it. It's kind of popular on Pinterest. Um, yeah, we've got more granite countertops, which is fun. I'm not really sure what I want to do with this. We've got shelving right here. Um, it's got nice storage in here. This is one of the things that I mean, like, that I think they were, like, new to this, or they were just, like, really cheap flippers, because I had to install all these shelves, which normally would be easy, because most come with, like, these little holes, and you just put pegs in them, and then you can readjust it. But this one, I don't know, you can see all the holes on this side. They're missing back there. So I had to go in and measure it out and level it out. And hi, Riley. <laughs> and figure out how to get all these levels. And then I had to get a drill bit and drill holes. And they're not all super even. Like That one was so uneven. Uh, I had to stick, like, I don't know if you can see it. That's paper towel. What is happening to the camera? Sorry, I don't know what just happened there, but yeah, that's paper towel bunched up to make it fit so that it wasn't super wobbly. And then this is technically two shells because I gave up at that point and I said, screw it. <laughs> um, I was gonna do another shelf, but I just, like I said, I just said, screw it. So yeah, that's for towels and junk. And then we've got drawers right here. This is a mess. I wanna get like organizers for this, this eventually. This is some of Riley's stuff in it, some towels. This, this one underneath it. Mm-hmm. And this has my hair brushes. Yep. And this has nothing in it. Yeah, this just has my robe for right now. There's also no like towel racks or anything, or even toilet paper roll thingies, which is okay, because Asher mess, we keep the toilet paper rolls up on the counters anyway, because of Asher. But this is our shower. We've got um, like subway, I think they call it like subway tile. I don't really know. Um, don't call it Subway. Subway title. <laughs> and then I bought this white mat and I regret it because I wash this thing several times a week and it still looks gross and dirty. I don't know why I decided to go with white. That was just stupid on my end. Toilet, sink, little mirror, nice little light fixture thingies. Um, yeah, just a sink. And then continuing on. And then continuing down the hall, we have our first bedroom over here, which is actually not a bedroom, it's a playroom. Um, we weren't sure if we wanted this to be Riley's room or not. We decided to go ahead and make this a playroom. There's two small bedrooms and two decent sized bedrooms. This is one of the small bedrooms, as you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, we decided to make this one the playroom because we weren't sure if her furniture was going to fit. So there's nothing up on the walls or anything yet. I want to make this really cute. I really do. Uh, we got a little kitchen over here. Eventually that other um, cube storage thing that our TV is on will be in here. And I think I'm going to flip it on the side so that it's 3 by 4 instead of 4 by 3. Um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be in here eventually. We've got a little closet over here with like play-doh and junk in it that we kind of want to keep Asher out of. Some more storage up there for like games, board games, books. Uh, we got so many books, so many books. And then continuing down the hall, we have the next room is Riley's room. This is what I'm talking about, that flat paint, impossible to clean. I don't even know what that is. Don't ask me. Um, but yeah. So this is Riley's room. I'll try to get a good view of that. Try to get a better view of this. But yeah, that's her full-size bed. That's why we weren't sure if it was going to fit into the other room. There's a closet. I got my closet and my lights. And your lights, yes. We've got all her lights in there. 
her name. That mermaid's not supposed to actually be there. We got her birds up. She's got storage under her bed. This is how it was in her in her old room too. Um, some toys over here. A little reading nook over here. A little library over there. Her bear's sitting on a chair. That chair actually has her name on it. Her closet, which I'm not going to open because it's this carpet. Several of the closets are just like really hard to open because the closet doesn't quite, the door doesn't quite fit. But yeah. Um, and then continuing down the hallway, this is like our water heater and all that fun stuff that nobody wants to see. And then down this way we have what will eventually be the boys room. Right now nobody's in it. Uh, Asher doesn't even sleep in here right now because he sleeps with me currently but we've got a bunch of clothes I need to go through. A little jumper. Um, this is also this is the second small bedroom if you can't tell. Uh, very small. Um, and then we've got a closet over here, which currently just has, like, our chairs in it. Because we can make our dining room table bigger. We just haven't for right now. And then some closet stuff. We've got blankets up there. Baby blankets and such. Um, but, yeah. this is. I think this is actually the largest closet in the entire house, which is kind of sad. But it's okay. So, yeah. This will eventually be the boys' room. We'll have... Um, probably a twin size bed as long as well as a crib in here or a toddler bed I haven't decided yet um, yeah that'll eventually be the boys room I gotta work get started on that soon actually and then at the very end of the hallway so there's where we started at the very end of the hallway we have our room um, it's kind of it's not very nice looking we never really bought a furniture we've never really bought a bed stand thing um we just keep our bed on the floor we, i really need to work on this room actually we have our dresser is falling apart um but <laughs> yeah it's got a nice fan it's kind of it's controlled by this remote which is sometimes a blessing and sometimes not um i don't know i don't i haven't decided if i like it or not our little window goes out, it looks out into the backyard. You can see more of the backyard, I guess. Goes all the way over there too. Um, our closet, which again, the carpeting thing, makes it really hard to open. Um, and then the shelving in here is absolutely insane. I did this and I envisioned it a lot different than it turned out. And it just turned out like a mess. and made me sad um but <laughs> it's a very small closet we normally hang up all of our clothes and we had to figure out how to hang up the ones that absolutely needed to be hung up and then figure out we had to redo our entire drawers which we never folded clothes we always just hung them up but i had to figure this out somehow so yeah we've got shelving in here that's all sorts of messed up and just does not work and this door just does not close for anything Anyway, and then <laughs> our final bathroom, um, again with the funky tile. I'm not, again, I, I don't know if I like it or not. Jake likes it. I'm not a huge fan though. Um, and then we've got the shelving, the more granite countertop. This vanity is really cute, right? But this is me looking straight forward. This is the mirror. Um, I don't know if you can see the problem here, but I cannot see out of it. So eventually I want to move that above the toilet right there and then just kind of scoot it over a little bit and then just get like a normal mirror for right here so that I can see out of it. Um, it's got cool, cute little light fixtures. They kind of match that. I don't really know. They're cute. And then also over to the left we have what is supposed to be our washer and dryer area it's still kind of a mess um things aren't pushed back yet because jake has to figure out a way to shorten that by like a shorter one so that he can push this back same with the washer i'm not really sure what their idea was when they set up this 
little laundry area because it just doesn't make sense to me like at all but either way <laughs> and then we got some like storage area right now I think we just got like pictures in here and paperwork and then some crafty stuff I don't think there's anything in this one. Oh, um an iron that I don't use I just have it some storage <laughs> shelving over here we've got Bath and Body Works candles and my breast pump and then this is just like I don't even know what honestly so yeah eventually eventually I'll probably use this for like maybe board games and blankets and such I haven't really decided I don't really know they're kind of shallow I haven't decided but yeah and a shower this one doesn't have a tub and we also haven't bought a drain cover for it yet for some reason we I don't really we don't really use this one Jake uses it but I don't and no one else does and then for some reason they put the towel rack in here which like I've seen but it never makes sense to me <laughs> so yeah that's our little bathroom so two bed two bathrooms um four bedrooms and yeah that's it so there's our room, like I said. And I think I want to move the bed over there and then slide this down. I'm not really sure yet, though. So there's that. See, like, I want the fan to still go, but I want the light off. Anyway, so yeah. Our house is kind of U-shaped, I guess, if you really think about it. Because, like, down that way is the kitchen. Then you come around, and it just kind of, like, loops around, you know? kind of strange I like it though I'm pretty happy here like I said we just have a couple odds and end things that we want to clean up and fix and like the paint and we want to figure out how to fix the doors so they're not so a pain in the ass to open and close um we need to buy new furniture for the living room just like a couple odds and end things that we want to fix up eventually but that's it oh I can tell Asher's been in here I think they were done from there they probably came in for a second. Here they are. We'll go say hi to them to end this. So yeah, that's it. Our patio. I don't really want to be out here. Hi, Ashi. Yeah, are you eating chalk? Oh, a fake egg. Cute. So but yeah, this is our yard. Oh, we also have like a little can't see it but if you go up that step and there's like a little storage area shed thing back there that's it do you like our house Ashy? yeah he likes having a backyard I like having a backyard too it's kind of nice all right can you say bye no you're just gonna make messes all right thanks for watching